Hello you guys, it is Faith. Welcome to the first vlog of 2022. Today it is January 2nd. Today I'm going to take you guys along a few days of my life. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this vlog going for, but I'm definitely going to be vlogging today and tomorrow. Do some shopping today because the roads are actually getting a little bit better. Um, it's been snowing and like being really icy the last few days, so we're going to brave the cold and go out. And I have some things I got to do here at home to get ready for the new week, the new year. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along a lot of that. Just a lot of like yearly reset things though it is the new year already. So I'm actually about to head out. We're going to go to Target, the mall, those kind of like basic errands. Also, I got these packages a couple days ago and I wanted to wait until I started vlogging again to unbox them. I'm super excited because these are both collaborations. Maybe we'll unbox this like later today. And yeah, I'm super excited, but these have literally been chilling in my room for like four days and I'm like, I need to unbox them right now. And then clearly my nightstand is a whole mess. We got the Christmas decorations that need to go down. So I'll probably either do that today or tomorrow, but I'll vlog that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together and head out. We just went to our first stop, H&M. I finally found a pair of black shaped legged high-waisted jeans. And then Ashley got a cute little sweater. It literally matches like her jacket, so the first stop of the day. So I believe the last thing I vlogged was coming out of H&M. So I'll show you what I got, but we also went to Target and I only got a couple of things and I'll show you, but it's literally like three things, but I thought I would give you guys a haul. So starting at H&M, I have been looking for a new pair of black jeans, specifically like the straight high-waisted black jeans. So I found them at H&M. Um, I feel like the quality at H&M is kind of iffy sometimes, but these were only like 20 bucks. I thought, why not give it a go? The ones I have right now, they're skinny jeans, and I feel like I can't really wear those with a lot of things that I wear now, because I've had those pants forever. So very quickly, this is what the jeans look like. I feel like the length is perfect, especially because I have long legs, and the cut and the fit is amazing. However, up here in the waistline, it feels a little snug, but I feel like after I like wear them out for a while, um, they will definitely loosen up, which I like because my Levi's definitely have loosened up the most on the waistline. I don't want that happening. These might just be my new go-to black pair of jeans. So I saw at Target that they had um, some like press on nails and this is from the Olive and June brand. I've seen this all over Instagram, but they had so many different colors and what I like about it is they have different lengths. So the shade is KAG and it's the short nails. I feel like whenever I do press on nails, I have to like cut them shorter um, to get the length that I can actually like do things with. So I'm glad that this is the short. I can't wait to try these on. I've only heard good things through this brand. I've seen it all over on Instagram. So I thought, why not give it a go? So I got that and then I got a yoga mat. It was only $15. So I was like, why not get one? I used to be so good like working out consistently last spring. So I thought this would bring more motivation. Um, I definitely want to do like more Pilates and like yoga, especially like up in my room because this time of year the garage is very, very cold and I don't want to work out in the cold. So I thought I would get a new mat to bring up into my room and like do some Pilates, like just like very low key stuff. So I got that. But that was my haul. Literally just like the most random things. Speaking of, I should probably open up my new packages because I literally have been waiting days to open this because I want to open it in the vlog. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this package. Okay, so I'm collabing with Loops Beauty on Instagram. If you guys don't know, now you know. I've seen these all over like TikTok and Instagram. So I'm really glad that they wanted to collab with me. But this is like their five face masks and then five eye masks and five lip masks. These are like part of the weekly reset collection, I guess. I have been like loving eye masks lately. So I'm very excited to try these out specifically. I literally just broke my nail. Okay, now the next one I'm super excited about. This is like one of those you've made it kind of brands. If you collab with them, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I'm collabing with Missouri Jewelry on Instagram. I'm so excited. I'm doing an Instagram post for them and they sent me some goodies. 
Oh, this one's a little tangled. I got the layered necklace. Okay, we're just gonna put this back for now, but I got a layered necklace from them as well as a new ring. Oh, that's so cute. I thought it was gonna be a lot like thicker, honestly, a lot bigger. But I also got this little dome ring. I'm so excited to collab with them because I literally have been looking for new jewelry pieces. I'm not like the biggest on like my jewelry game. I'm literally wearing none right now. I definitely wanna elevate that in the new year. Again, stay tuned for my Instagram, but I feel like I have so many fun goodies right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and kind of get ready because we're gonna be doing a family Zoom call tonight. Every Sunday we always do a family Zoom call with my grandparents and just my immediate family. So I'm gonna be cleaning up my room for that because my background is not gonna look so cute if my bed is not made. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna have dinner. I'm gonna have my Zoom call. And then I think after that, I'm gonna be doing some planning on Notion. So I'll catch you guys up after all of that. Anyways, done with the Zoom call. I'm about to get ready for bed, but I gotta do some planning first because my favorite thing to do before going to bed is planning the next day. So I'm gonna go on my Notion app on my computer. I love Notion so much. I would love to be sponsored by them one day because I just use it on my computer, my laptop, my phone. I use it to keep track of like my entire life. So tonight I'm gonna be planning tomorrow which is monday so i'm gonna write down like what i'm gonna be filming um what i need to get done and then i might tap into like my 2022 vision board a little bit i created like a whole like photo vision board but i kind of want to create a page on notion specifically for 2022 vision goals that kind of stuff because i do have some new year's resolutions but i want to put them on notion and i haven't gotten around to doing that so I'm gonna do that. My favorite thing is to just vibe here, write things down. It's kind of like a brain dump for me. So like everything I want to remember going in tomorrow, I can just like rest well knowing that it's written down and planned. So I have this last week's agenda. I'm gonna go ahead and like erase this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start writing down everything I need to do tomorrow and then kind of do like a rough hour by hour schedule. I have been like really into doing time blocking. So like I'll commit like an hour and a half to doing a couple projects like focus work and then I'll take a 20 minute break, whether that's cleaning my room or getting breakfast or whatever. And then back to like the hour and a half focus work. So it's the 90 20 rule. I've been into like productivity TikToks. I've applied that in my last week and it's actually worked pretty well. So I'm gonna do my best to apply it into the next week. I don't know if I'm blanking on anything that I need to do tomorrow, but this is what I have so far. So I just wrote my little morning routine up here. I'm gonna plan on waking up at 6.30, getting out of bed, having coffee and starting my morning work around seven. So I like to do like the computer work and like the easy stuff first thing in the morning. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be shooting some Instagram photos. So I plan on getting ready at nine and then taking some Instagram photos between like 10, 15 and 11. I might go over past 11, depending Depends on how good I am taking these photos. I'm gonna edit those Instagram photos. I need to post an Instagram photo at 12. I like to shoot for that 12 p.m. mark. And I really wanna get more consistent on posting on Instagram, so I'm keeping myself accountable by putting it on the schedule. Lunch at 12.30 per usual, and then 1.30 I wanna to dedicate to filming in this vlog, taking down my Christmas decor, cause that is long overdue. So yeah, that's what I got on the agenda today. Who knows how tomorrow will actually play out. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning, probably in the same area. I'm always at my desk, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Walmart! 
Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I have gotten so much done already so far. This weather today has gone crazy. It's literally been raining and then snowing and then mix and now it's raining and hailing. So this morning I took some Instagram photos and like mini reels because I need to get all my Instagram games. So I literally went out here and took photos while it was windy and raining. Luckily I didn't get too wet because it's just the back deck and it's covered. So I got some super cute Instagram photos for those and then I did like a couple mini reels. And then I cleaned my room. I prepped my outfit for one of the Instagram photos I'm gonna be taking later today. Did the dishes, just had a little bit of a breakfast that peanut butter toast. I was really craving peanut butter toast this morning. Don't really know why. Watched some YouTube and now I'm about to do my nails. The next few Instagram photos I need to take like require like my hands to be shown. Well, they don't require it, but like the poses, I show my hands. So I'm gonna be doing the new nail stuff I got. I'm gonna be doing the olive in June. I'm so excited for this. So I brought that down along with like a little filer and nail clippers just in case. And I'm just gonna do it down here while watching more YouTube. Also, the Christmas tree is still up. It's like the last day it's gonna be up and it's gonna be taken down tomorrow. I still need to take down my Christmas decorations. I totally forgot. That's what I'm gonna do today. That's like the goal of the day. Take down Christmas decorations. Instagram photos, edit vlog. Let's get started with doing my nails. Hey guys, I just did the nails. <laughs> they look so freakishly long for me, so I'm still gonna cut them down, but I love the color so much. Now I'm kind of curious as to what the long ones look like, because this is just the short. I have no idea, but I'm gonna spend some time cutting these down and I'll come back to you guys once that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my hair a little bit because specifically on this side, it's like straightening out pretty bad. So I'm just gonna add a few curls back into it. And then I'm gonna put on like this cute leather coat that I've been wearing so much lately. Cause this is gonna be from Missouri and it's just a necklace and a ring. So I'm just gonna do like a little, little moment. <laughs> So I'm just touching on my hair right now. Here's how the nails turned out. I cut them down a little bit and buffed them out. I feel like I shape my nails so bad, especially with fake nails. So I feel like the shaping is not the best, but it's at the perfect length that I want it. I have like a ton of like nail glue on my fingers too. Do you see that? It literally looks so wrinkly and weird, but um, other than that, I feel like they turned out really well. I forgot how patient you have to be with um, fake nails. All right, you guys, I think we got the shot. I'm done. I took so many photos. I think I just took about like 300 in one go. And it's so cool because I get to learn like what angles work for me best and like what poses and angles. Like I just love taking photos of myself. Is that weird? Um, I think we got a winner. Wait. I think we got a winner though. I'm so excited. I have so many photos to go through and choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and start editing those photos and comb out the ones that don't really look good or ones I'm not gonna use. But look at my jewelry. So this is the dome ring. I will literally link this down below if you guys are interested. Um, and then I have the layered necklace. I was so nervous because I thought the ring size was gonna be off because I'm like, I'm a six, but in some rings, I'm like a four. Like, it's so weird. My fingers are so tiny, so I'm so glad it fit. And it literally fits all my fingers without like slipping or anything. So I am a new fan of Missouri jewelry. It's a really chill day. I'm very happy with how all the photos have turned out and just overall today has been really productive. I don't know what just happened with my memory. I just went on a whole spiel about the Loops face mask. Um, I just took it off and then my camera just like froze and shut off. It was kind of weird, but I gotta say the Loops face masks are literally the best quality. I had my face mask on for about like 15, 20, maybe even 25 minutes, like just filming everything and like 
cleaning up and doing the whole process and it literally stuck to my face so well. I also used one of these like gushas, squashas, I don't even know how to say it. I used one of those um, to put on the face mask and it worked out well. But I literally look insane right now. I'm doing like a self care kind of like reel and I just finished filming that. The whole premise of the reel is I wanted it to be like a self care vibe. So it was like a post shower, like face mask, relaxing night type thing. I'm going to take a shower later, but it's just easier if I just kind of like fake it till I make it. So my hair is dry and I took off my makeup except for my eye makeup. And then here's another little behind the scenes. When, I, when I'm on the bed, like, drinking out of this mug, it's supposed to be sleepy time tea, but there's nothing in it yet. And it's like a realistic self-care, but for filming, it's fake it till you make it type thing. So, I'm also in a robe. I'm fully clothed underneath, too. So, just another behind the scenes, but I'm gonna clean up, and then we're gonna finally take down the Christmas decor. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's been up for way too long. I love Christmas. I love Christmas decor. I love my Christmas decor, but it's just, I just need to pack it up. I need to declutter and really just start off the new year fresh. So I have it as organized as possible. Um, I still kept some of the packaging from this year's decor to put back in. The first thing I'm going to do is take this tree down and then I'm going to take all of the little decor pieces from here. And then I have some decor right there and that's pretty much it. Oh, also this garland. I can't forget to take that down. Should be pretty easy, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, you guys, Christmas is officially put away. The tree is gone, the decor is gone, and now my room feels bare. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and eat some dinner and just do my normal night routine things. I feel like I have a lot of footage already for this vlog. I'm actually going to end the vlog here, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more vlogs and follow my Instagram down below if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys had a wonderful start to the new year, and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!